What's up guys, just wanted to give you guys a, a quick look at Windows 8 uh, developers preview running on a uh, Mac, an, an, an iMac to be exact, a 24 inch uh, Intel Core 2 Dual um, running at uh, 3.6 uh, gigahertz. Um, this OS is by far one of the best OS I've ever used. Um, a friend of mine actually gave me his Mac and he wanted me to um, to do some work on it. He was actually tired of um, uh, iOS and he wanted something a little bit more simpler, something a little bit more functional for him. So he wanted me to um, install Windows 7. So I, I gave it a try and um, I said let me try Windows 8 first. And this thing is uh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. If um if anyone is used to Windows 7, uh you'll feel right at home with this. I can definitely say that there are a lot of changes, but for the for the most part it's um it's still um fully functional Windows um Windows 7 and then you know Windows 8. Um you got your same notifications at the bottom. Um but that's besides the point. Let's go into Windows 8 and see a few of the tiles that um that they're bringing over from the Windows Phone 7. Um, let's take a look at the weather. The weather is very nice. The, uh, the animation is very nice. Um, let's see how this thing loads up. Here we go. Uh, it took a little while. I actually just turned it on and I guess didn't connect to my Wi-Fi. But uh, as you can see, the backdrop lets you see of you know how the the weather is in whatever part of the world uh this is um was it anaheim california it's hazy over there so we got the fog let's go down to the caribbean we're in trinidad it's actually sunny it's 80 degrees and you know you can see the, uh, the animation with the water the beach you know it's, it's very nice um let's go to alaska where it's snowing and the animation will change to, to actual snow, so it's it's pretty nice, um, you know what what they're doing. Um, as they would, as they would say, it's it's eye candy, and uh, I don't I don't mind. It's it's pretty nice. Uh, what else? What else? Um, take a look at some of the apps. The piano app. This actually work. However, um, this Mac. Uh, the speakers, I, I didn't install the drivers for the speakers. I don't know why Windows 8 didn't install it, but um, it actually worked. If you connect headphones to it, you can actually hear it sound like a real piano. Um, but it is it is functional. It is, it is a nice um, addition. So I'm um, going to resize the keys. Let's see what else they have here. Um, let's try this copper. I have no idea what this app is. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a game. Okay. What you supposed to do? Move the guy over. I guess. Well, let's get out of that. Um. Let's see where else. Where else? Let's go into the news feed. Where I guess this is like a RSS feed. It's load up um, specific news from whoever you and you have it. I have TMZ right here. It's TMZ. I have um, IGN. Get you the latest news updates, I guess. Um, Gizmo do Gizmodo and Gadget. So it's 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 pretty it's pretty nice and it's it runs very very smooth very smooth. Another thing that you can actually do is, um, I guess, stack stack a couple of apps to the uh, to the screen. Uh, the multitasking is great. You just move the mouse to the left corner, and you can see what you was running in the background. Just click on it, it goes right to it. Click on the game, goes right back to the game. Click on the piano, goes right back to the piano. Back to the weather. Back to that. And uh, you can actually drag and stick two um, pages to the... Uh, to the home screen itself like that and um, you can resize them have more of the game on screen 
you know, you still have your, your RSS feed on the side. Or you can actually completely get rid of it. Um, let's try it with this. Have the weather there. You can still read what's what's going on. So, you know, you can do two things at, at the same time, <laughs> I guess, on the screen. Um, it works with most apps. I haven't found another app that it doesn't, it doesn't work with. So, you know, it's a cool feature. Okay, guys, just to show you guys a little uh, game preview on Windows 8 for the Mac. Let's, uh, let's get this exhibition game going. Just to give you a little idea that um you know you can actually play games on uh, the developer's preview of um Windows 8. Uh fault. And yes, I'm using the uh, Xbox 360 controller, if you can see that. Oh, four. So that's that one. Another game I'm going to show is um, Shank. Now, Shank doesn't run as well as I would like it to run. It doesn't run as smooth, but then again, this is not this is not even a, a, a alpha build of uh, Windows Windows 8. But um, it runs slightly slow, but it's still very playable. Still using the Xbox 360 controller. See the action is still still pretty good. But it is a little bit a little bit slow. Still playable. Still playable. So there you have it. Uh, pretty much um, just a little look of uh, Windows 8 on the uh, on the Mac, and you know I really can't wait for the the full OS to be released. Supposed to be at the end of the year, maybe uh, 2013. I really hope it's at the end of the year because this this is really um, it's 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 a good direction Microsoft is going with um with taking their OS and um I can only see good things coming out of this. So uh, that is my uh, little look first look of, of what some of the things this OS is capable of and um, hopefully we'll have more coming. Bye.